This is Jimi Hendrix, and this is Broken Vessel, Episode 2, Broken Vessel, on LDS Hasten. This podcast is for those that are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, desiring to share the gospel, and those outside the church that would like to learn more about the restoration of the gospel. Okay, guys, come on in, step inside Club Manasseh. Hope you don't mind receiving some knowledge here. So here we go. We're gonna get ready to hear a little story, a little bit of him here, and then I'll get started. Okay, I want to give you guys a little sneak peek here into LDS Hasten. For one thing, you're going to hear quite a bit from Elder Bednar at some point. And so that's one thing that you can look into. Also, one thing I want you to think about is um, you'll be hearing from another powerhouse for our time. And that is Elder Gary E. Stevenson. So I want you to get ready for this, uh, but first, we're going to hear from Elder Jeffrey R. Holland, and then after that, I will give you a little little surprise expert on mental illness, so here we go. For both the Father who sent him and the Son who came. Sorry, oops. The Apostle Peter wrote that disciples of Jesus Christ are to have compassion one of another. In that spirit, I wish to speak to those who suffer from some form of mental illness or emotional disorder. Whether those afflictions be slight or severe, of brief duration or persistent over a lifetime. We sense the complexity of such matters when we hear professionals speak of neuroses and psychoses, of genetic predispositions and chromosome defects, of bipolarity and paranoia and schizophrenia. However bewildering this all may be, these afflictions are some of the realities of mortal life, and there should be no more shame in acknowledging them than acknowledging a battle with high blood pressure or the sudden appearance of a malignant tumor. In striving for some peace and understanding in these difficult matters, it's crucial to remember that we are living and chose to live in a fallen world where for divine purposes, our pursuit of godliness will be tested and tried again and again. Of greatest assurance in such a plan is that a Savior was promised, a Redeemer, who through our faith in Him would lift us triumphantly over those tests and trials, even though the cost to do so would be unfathomable for both the Father who sent Him and the Son who came. It is only an... Okay, now, we're going to go to Hip Mental Health Plaza. We're going to be hearing from a person that I consider to be a very strong expert on mental illness. He's treated me for 10 years. And I have to say, (coughs) excuse me, (coughs) allergies. I have to say, it's thanks to people like Elder Holland and him that we know the absolute truth about mental illness. So here we are at Mental Health Plaza. We're going to hear from Dr. Jane, J-A-I-N, and then I will follow with some insights of my own. So the question becomes why we differentiate mental illness separately from other conditions such as hypertension and diabetes. We must visualize mental illness as 
a different form, a condition of different form of medical problem that instead of being affected a bodily organs is affecting mental, our brain. That visualization may help us remove the stigma and seek more help. The number one reason for people not seeking psychiatric help is first of all not recognizing it and also having a huge stigma against uh, seeking psychiatric help or even being recognized that having a psychiatric condition. If you're finding something is wrong, you ne don't necessarily have to see a psychiatrist. Seek help wherever and wherever you can. We have just one life to live and I think it should be lived to the maximum potential of what uh, God or genes or whatever you want to say has endowed us and that should be our goal. I'm Dr. Jane, it's okay to say. Okay, now I'm going to give my insights about mental illness. You know, I was diagnosed with plain major depression with psychotic features when I was 27 years old. And then 10 years later, I was diagnosed with bipolar type 1 with psychotic features. And I wanted to keep my diagnosis with me to my grave as it was something to be ashamed of. But then, my bishopric approached me in October 2018 and asked me to come forward and talk about it. Now, I have to say, I struggled with something inside me in dealing with this. This, uh, this pain of people knowing that I had this. But at the same time, I felt like the truth had to be told. No doubt the truth had to be told. And it's, it's the best possible way that I can think of is to tell the truth. No doubt because we need not be ashamed of mental illness, okay? We should look at it no different than high blood pressure or um, heart disease or cancer. It's, it's, an, it's a real health problem. And it's something that needs to be addressed. We don't need to be afraid to say. We don't need to be afraid to come forward. I remember that Sunday morning in, 28, in the fall of 2018 coming forward and telling people about it and actually breaking down breaking down but I knew it had to be done okay I didn't I didn't want to come forward but at the same time I felt like people had a right to know so they would know that they're not alone I know my my mental illness has been such I've I've had quite a few mood swings lately, and I have felt at times that I've had no one to really talk to about the the illness that I'm going through. So many times, many times I've had to go to Heavenly Father and ask Him for help. I've had to go to Him and ask Him for help, and He's. The one thing I can say about God, our Heavenly Father, is that He listens. He listens and He helps us through our pain. Sometimes He'll give me something to focus on. Sometimes He'll tell me it's okay. Whatever it is, it's okay to say. We're, we're, we all are broken vessels on this, on this planet. So it's important for you to get the grasp. And so now with this... This is Jimi Hendrix saying, until next time, read your scriptures, and by all means, please, preach the gospel. You want to know what really makes me enjoy uh, my life?